I'm going to make a quick video here. Uh, I've just finished building this knife. I finished building the sheath as well. Uh, this knife was actually taken from a full heat treat here at the house. Used my brick forge to build it out. It was hardened, hardened steel. It was just kind of scrap steel that I had. It's stainless. Um, we've got two thong hole tubes in the handle. If you needed to lash that to a spear, make it a spear tip or something like that. Um, got a hardened steel lanyard ring back here with a little bit of a glass breaker edge. You can hit a window with that if you needed to get out or get in, whatever. Um, this is a carbon fiber and G10 handle. I've got some carvings there and basically that's pretty cool if you were wearing a glove or something and it gives you a little bit more uh, tactile feel for the handle. Uh, it's actually raised up a little bit right here. Um, back edge, if you can tell, has never been polished. It's blacked out, so if you're actually holding your knife like that, you can't see the stark outside, you can't see it, so a little tactical in that way. Uh, this is a Skinner blade, a flat grind. One of the first I've ever signed. You can tell I actually left the steel a little unfinished purposefully so that it looks hand-built, handmade. It's like, why not? You got a hand-built knife. First one I've actually signed, so you can see the F there on that side. And the R on this side. It's very sharp. Very sharp knife. Um, the sheath. I made this from vegetable tan leather, so I actually dyed the leather. I got two Chicago screws there because it is a hybrid. It's got some plastic uh, kydex in there that actually snaps and locks the knife into place in the sheath, which is really nice. It's secured even upside down. You can shake it and stuff. It doesn't come out. Uh, those two screws, you just undo them there, and you can end up taking that kydex and leather two pieces apart so you can clean them if you needed to. Uh, I got two carry options. We've got a belt ring there that accepts up to a two inch belt. Uh, this steel ring on the back is obviously for a uh, different carry method. You can hook that onto your belt there and then you got a dangler if you needed to sit down or find a chair, get in your car, that kind of thing. The sheath itself dangles so you can end up having a more comfortable fit. Uh, that's pretty much everything on here, so pretty nice.